Well, there it is. There's the 2001 Dodge Coach House that we will be putting up for sale. Wanted to make a quick video of it so I can get that posted online for you guys. Kind of check it out. Do a quick lap around it. Uh, super nice unit. Only 40,000 miles. I really wanted to sell this with 39,000 miles on it, but it was so close to 40,000 miles on it. Lori and I went and picked it up uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio border, and it rolled over to 40,000 miles on the way home. So, you know, 40,000 miles, that's, that's still pretty low. Zach's still here. So we'll give a quick lap around it. Um, so 01, 190. Now this is not a wide body. Uh, it's I think it's actually a little harder to find a coach house in this vintage. It's not a wide body than, than a wide body. So um, usually the wide bodies will bump out a little bit here. They're pretty much the same as far as layout, how they look, just a little bit wider on the side. You get a little more room on the inside when you have a wide body. Um, but uh, same, pretty much the same layout. Now what this does not have, two things this does not have, is a shower or a generator. Um, so that, that uh, just for people that are looking for something like that, if you need a shower, this doesn't have it or a generator. But we'll look around the outside. Few paint imperfections, just typical Dodge white paint where it will flake off on spots like that on this vintage. Uh, this is the back of your refrigerator. That's the refrigerator vent there. This is the uh, water heater. Batteries are behind there. It's got dual coach batteries on it. And you'll see a few spots here where the paint flakes off a little bit. The stripes look good. No dents, no rust. It's in good shape all, all the way around. Just some minor paint problems. Inside the back door, got a rear bench that folds down into a big bed. Uh, this is the center awning storage. This is a crank for the awning. And this is uh, something you can wash it with and put a brush on the end. That's not factory. Whoever had that before installed all that. So a little room in the back. Got a couple seat belts there. Um, blind up here as well. Go around the other side. Got the water heater there. What I like about coach houses, they put all the hookups in one spot. So this is where you fill the propane up, where you hook your water up, uh, emergency shutoff for the propane, sewer hose storage, obviously your electrical plug. If you have cable, you have uh, hookup cable there. It has airbags. You can fill your airbags up left and right there for the rear suspension and then drain your water tanks for winterizing. So that's kind of cool. Good, good setup there. And then this is a pretty big storage area underneath here. Extra cords. Some of they divided it up in three and a little shelf up there too. Um, this is where you fill your water tank up. That's where you fill your gas tank up. And that's where you dump your uh, sewage. Take a peek inside here a minute. Real nice shape. In this top lip up here, there's some paint missing up along there. Tires like brand new, Ironman's has had some brake work done, oil, oil change, fully serviced, checked out, all that stuff. All right, now let's take a look at the inside, shall we? I got the air going because I'm hot. I don't put the air on. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm a limp like that. Does have uh, screens on these windows here. New flooring inside. Hey. <clears throat> All right. So I'll start back here. Like I said, this is a this folds up and down like that. You push this button right there. And then it folds down into a nice size bed. Just like that. And then this fills in as well. So it's a good size bed back here. Uh, lots of lights, lots of storage. Got a TV here. Got a DVD player here. Got some over here that says Magnavox. Not really sure what that is. I'll put this back up a minute. There it goes.
into the kitchen. Of course, you got your stove, three-way refrigerator, um, monitor panel, water pump, hood lights. This side is the bathroom. Again, no shower. Toilet. Little medicine cabinet. In there. Bumping my head. Microwave. A lot of storage in this thing. It's uh, laid out really nice. Yes, even has an ironing board. Check that out. You know, because when you're camping, you do not want them camping t-shirts to be wrinkled. So you gotta gotta look the part so you can iron your clothes. Got got a pantry, chick stick pantries. Those are nice. Tables are there, so there's a table that goes back there. Obviously you got your sink. Little flip-up table there. So yeah, overall real nice shape, real nice unit. Again, only 40,000 miles on it. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. I feel like I'm feel like I'm spinning this around way too much. So sorry if I'm doing that too much, making you dizzy. But um, it'll go up for sale at six o'clock today. Uh, price is 31,450. Um, and uh, yeah, anything else? Get a hold of me. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. See you.